Hi. Eric is my oldest friend in Asia. I met Eric in Singapore in 2011. Eric is a Swedish, Swedish national who moved to Singapore with his family, with his parents, when he was a teenager. When I met Eric, he was a high-end chef. I'm at Raja Damri in Bangkok. That's uh, a very high-end uh, area on a mission for Eric. So this speaks to the uh, high so the high so neighborhood of uh, Eric's apartment that I'm visiting, is that there's a roadblock at the uh, at the end of the street here with lots and lots of uh, officials and police and guys in black suits. It looks like uh, a, uh, a convention of men in black and there aren't any aliens nearby. There are, however, a lot of uh, VIPs visiting Bangkok this week for a big economic conference. There are a lot of things that I like about Eric. Eric is smart, frugal, knows how to invest his money. He's hardworking and he's a really clever entrepreneur. But what I like most about Eric is that he has good-naturedly ignored all my really bad jokes about Muppet chefs. Bork, bork, bork. What really brings me here is Eric's entrepreneurial side. You see, Eric disliked working nights and weekends, long hours and hot kitchens with sketchy people in a room with knives. And in 2000 eight or nine, he came to Bangkok at the height of the Airbnb stuff, when Airbnb was at its peak. And he learned how to manage Airbnbs for absentee apartment owners. And at one point he had over 25 Airbnbs that he was managing, some in Japan, you know, he's done it from a distance, which he's doing now. You know, COVID took down the whole Airbnb thing and he, like many other people, needed to return to his home country to find some work. And being the successful guy that he is, he wound up with a really, really good job in the city where he works. He's pretty much running the school lunch program for a medium-sized Swedish city. But he still has this place, this Airbnb place, and he asked me to come and check it out for him. You know, he manages it from Sweden. You know, and he, he has a maid and all the other you know, resources he needs to manage this place. And he just asked me to come in and take a look, you know, give it the white glove test, you know, kind of a quality control thing. I told him I would be happy to do it. So I'm gonna take you along with me. This is in one of the premier neighborhoods of Bangkok. It's in uh, the Raja Damri neighborhood. It's a uh, one bedroom apartment. It is exactly the same layout as an apartment that I once lived in on Soy 26, Sukhumwit Soy 26, a place called Condo 1X. But this apartment is just in better shape. It's, uh, it's cleaner and newer, but the layout is exactly the same, so I'm very used to it. It has a very uh, good utilitarian kitchen with a, a, a two burner stove top, a microwave, a sink and a refrigerator, storage space. It's clean and easy. Eric has the highest speed internet available here in Bangkok, which is very high speed, both upload and download, because he markets this place to uh, keyboard warrior types, people who need good, fast internet, and he provides that. With that, as you can see, this is the li living room, comes with a uh, cable TV and a nice big widescreen. There's a pretty nice view here uh, of the Raja Damri uh, neighborhood. I think that's looking east, but I'm guessing, I'm not quite sure. Uh, some artwork on the wall. That's a uh, very evocative photograph for a retired fireman from New York City. C clean, decent bathroom, big enough. You have a shower and a tub, something that you don't always see in, uh, in Bangkok is uh, an apartment with a tub and of course the thunder jug and a spacious bedroom with uh, what looks to be about a king size bed. So yeah, this is a lovely place. Uh, it's for rent through Airbnb. If you are interested in it, I'll put a link down in the description of this video. Although this isn't really a promotion, I guess, it, I, guess I am promoting it inadvertently. It's just 
a favor that my buddy Eric asked me to do for him to come and take a look and give the old white glove test of the place. And it looks pretty good. It's in, you know, it's in good shape. It's well kept. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested, you could check that link out. Uh, just a short video about, uh, you know, what's going on here in Bangkok. And uh, so, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See you the next time.